So today guys we take a look at another new shield to the game which arrives with the new DLC of Guns, Love and Tentacles. This shield is called the Torch and today we check this thing out. How's it going guys my name is DPJ and today I bring you another BR3 video. If you guys enjoy it leaving a like really helps me out and subscribe if you do want to see more. So this new shield, the Torch, is a world drop as long as you own this new DLC, DLC 2. If you do own it, this can fall anywhere on Xylurgus. I got mine from a Mac upon Curse Haven, who is a great rare boss farm for all new legendaries this DLC offers. Check out a video on my channel I posted of where you farm this dude. Inflammable means flammable. Shoots fires around the player on depletion that deal 10,195 damage each. And in reality guys, that's the speciality of this thing. Now I know there are the odd builds this in 10 would benefit, but because it's so generic I don't think this will be a shield we see used very often. I mean yes it's part of trick is good, but what I found out using this yesterday was if an enemy is close enough to you to melee you, if that melee takes off your shield, and these fireballs spawn, if they hit that said enemy that melee you, they can indeed end up hurting yourself while they are at it. You can see these fireballs in action now. Now this would benefit a Zane build where the Infiltrator class mod comes into play where activating your action skills depletes your shields. So now yours are like this I feel work best with this one. But other than that guys it's nothing to write home about. For me this probably won't ever be used and it will probably just take its place in my bank or on my wall. So yeah guys my thoughts on this new shield, the torch, a part of the guns, love and tentacles DLC. It's an okay shield, it's lacking that capacity, and while it offers, is definitely not unique enough for many people to take this into account. But on that note guys, we have come to the end of the video, just a short but sweet one, and something not to write home about. If you guys enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands, be sure to subscribe, and if you never want to miss a video upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by, hopefully you enjoyed the video, and hopefully I will see you on that next. One.